I'm going to give you another way to do the together points on the animated uh, character or some animation stuff. Okay, that's really simple way to do this. And let's start it. Uh, I create uh, a crack. You can add a sheet or not. Uh, He's moving, so we want we want scatter some points from his body, like uh, use the scatter sheeter, the uh, scatter, um, and uh, we need. Uh, let me color this, and uh, then we need uh, randomize the piece scale, then copy the box to this. Point. So it looks like this. But you can tell this point I point number is uh, changing frames by frames. You can see point number, the value is changing. So it's like freaking flicking on the current. Let's see. Right, so if we want this kind of scatter, it doesn't work. We want uh, scatter points from this character, then a meter some points, or like uh, a meter some particles, or we like true that to to have the polygon. Let's see how it looks. See. We have the line, but the line is flickering, it changes a lot. So, how can we get scatter points just uh, fixed on the geometry? Let's see. I can use the time shift, just uh, read the first frame, then scatter points. So this this kind of scatter the points just uh, static and uh, it's the first frame. Then we use the attribute uh, interpolate node. You can see this node. We need the source frame. Source frame UV. These two attributes. Uh, so the scatter we can. We can set the point, and on here we can have the prim uh, source prim and source prim UV. This uh, prim attributes. Uh, he can read uh, the prim number every scatter point. For example, this this point. For example, this is forty three points. He this scatter node can read the prime number and the prime UV. So these points, according to these points, we have the prime number and prime UV. Then this attribute in the plate can read these two attributes. Let's uh, hook up this. Uh, uh, the first uh, input is the destination geometry. It's like the scatter points and the second input is the source attributes to interpolate it's just the it's just the animated geometry so we hook up like this so you can see the point is they are fixed they never change the number right the pt name it never changes or uh, we can color it and add some box. Let's just play, see how it looks. See, it's never changed. This way, we change the box. You can see. Okay, this really quick.
tutorial. Of course, we have a different way to achieve this kind of fixed scatter points.